Hi guys, back again. Um, just a quick one. A couple of people have asked me to do a video of how I attach my line to my elastic and why I choose to do that way. Uh, so I've got some thick elastic, um, some thick lines, so hopefully you can see it. And the, it's one of the large or the medium, depending on what size elastic, the, the puller beads, Matrix 2, and the puller, the puller attachment, I can't remember what it's called, I'm sorry, the, the puller need or whatever it is. So basically here's your elastic, let's say it's the 20, the biggest elastic I've got here, so you should hopefully see it. What you wanna do, you get your needle, but you're putting this on backwards, putting your bead on backwards. So push the bead on, is that the right way? No, other way around. So push it through the thick end, so can you see? Push it through the thick end of it, out there, okay? Grab the end of your elastic, we'll pretend it's through a pole top. Hook it on that, just like, just like that, look. I'm trying to do this so you can see it, but it's not very easy with the angle I'm at. So I'll pull it on and then I'll show you. Just like a diamond eye threader. Right, that's on there. Yep, you see? This is the, the end, the pole's down this end, okay? Take this end, just tie a double loop, just a double knot, still want to wet it. Trim a bit of that off. Not the easiest to do. Want some scissors, but. So you're left with that look, okay? Really, really simple. And then you get your line and just attach it like you would over a Dacron. All you do, double, pull it through your loop. Can you see? Pull it tight, slide it down. Make sure you stretch the elastic before you put it on and put it behind the loop. And that's, that's tight but on that knot now. That's not gonna come off, okay? Trust me, it won't come off. Then all you do, slide the bead down over the knot and see and that will sit against your um your brush in the end of your pole and your elastic will come out like that it's the easiest and simplest setup to do the reason i do it like this is a couple of benefits um first of all when you strike at a bite you're not waiting for a dacron to fold over i know it's the tiniest fraction half a second quarter of a second but you've still got that, that movement in a bit of Dacron. And I think especially with F1s, the spikes are so quick, you don't want any flexibility, like you're fishing a short line. And it applies to all fishing, but F1s is where it's magnified because of the bites. We're fishing a real short line, like four inches when we're fishing shallow. If you've got the Dacron, you're adding even more on. Um, and if you've got fishery limits, you actually cheat, you're you're actually making it a longer line by still having your four inches of line limit because of the Dacron. So it's much more con positive, um, which at the end of the day, any little help we can get is the best. It's little things, but they all work, all, all go towards the bigger picture of a match win um, or a good pleasure session. Uh, the other reason I like it, with a Dacron, you can cut cut into your line because it's behind the connector you don't see it and then your elastic goes it's bad times no one's happy lose a rig lose a fish cost you a match whatever um with this all you've got to do is pull the bead back let's say you can see the line's still lovely and tight on there look don't be worried about it coming off it won't it sits tight you just want to pull that elastic tight first to expose the knot and then it's can you i'm trying to get a close-up here uh yeah, it just sits in there lovely behind that knot. What you do, you can check your elastics. You always want to be checking your elastics regularly anyway, especially in the summer, because they do perish. doesn't matter what make or brand it is. Elastic perishes from UV light. Um, yeah, all you do, pull back. You do it to unattach the rig anyway. Um, but you can just check that little bit there. And if it is getting worn, all you've got to do, there's the, the rig on there, but it doesn't matter. All you've got to do is just pull it back to the end of where it's worn Start the process again. You're not re-elasticating a top kit. Does that make sense? You, you, you're just cutting an inch off. You haven't got to tie anything around. You don't need lots of elastic tile. If you were going to do that with a Dacron, you'd need to allow a lot more. Your, your line would tighten it. Your elastic would be too tight then. But with this, it doesn't matter. 
then you just slide the loot over on the new knot cut that last little bit off uh, it's really simple it's the, you couldn't have it any simpler but it's I do it with all my top kits um, it's still holding it away from your pole top um, because of the bead on there so you're not getting caught over when you're slapping and stuff it's just foolproof there's nothing can go wrong with it um, now it's not what I've been asked and it just uh, but again pull a bead on the other end people just might wonder it's it's obvious if you know if you don't you don't for the other end where it comes out your puller I attach it almost the same all I do is loop the line round so I've got a loop in the end double loop then you cut the prongs off I haven't got any scissors here but imagine we cut these prongs off so we were left with that and then slide my bead over my puller bead over it so it sits tight on it it won't go over because this is mega thick elastic but yeah so you're left with that and that sits against your puller bush nice and simple uh, I hope that helps you again I know it's a lot of people will say it's obvious but if you don't know you don't know I'm trying to cater for not just seasoned match anglers here there's a lot of people just watch this to to learn some basics um so if there's any little things like that you want to learn don't be afraid to ask um so i'll be getting a margin video done next um thanks for watching